This document is about digital electronics and how to deal with enable, gate, and strobe inputs. Sometimes when you use a device for the first time, you'll notice there are other inputs that you didn't know about, pins that you're not sure how to use. Often they have names like gate, strobe, or enable, and there can be more than one of them. So here's an example. Look at the truth table. Notice that this one row of the truth table has X's in all the input columns except one. And notice that in this column there's not an even number of ones and zeros. In this column there are two zeros and two ones. In this one there were one zero and one one. Here there's one zero and one one. So in all the input columns the numbers and ones and zeros are equal except for this one. So when this enable input is one, none of the other inputs matter. That means that normal operation of the chip is what you get when enable is zero. So for normal operation you would want to tie the enable pin low. Here's a different device. It has a pin called strobe. Look at this row here where the strobe is one. Again, notice that all of the inputs are X's, all of the other inputs are X's when the strobe is one. The strobe is zero for all of the other rows. So, for normal operation, strobe should be set to zero. So again, the strobe should be tied low for normal operation. Now this one, you'll notice, has four inputs A, B, C, D, and two other inputs G1 and G2. Now look down here on these inputs. Notice down here, at the end, when either of G1 or G2 is high, then all of the other inputs are X's for don't care. So normal operation is what you get when both G1 and G2 are low. So take a look at this for a minute and try to spot the input that supersedes the others. All right? Again, look for the columns and see which ones have equal numbers of ones and zeros and which ones don't. Also look for the columns that have don't cares and the ones that don't. So in case you didn't notice, down here we have this column where all the inputs are X's as long as CE bar is a 1. So then this input, CE bar, should be set to 0 for normal operation. Here's one more. By now this should be easy. If you look at this last row, notice that these two inputs are X's when this one is high, and when this one is low, they're not. So again, this DLE signal needs to be low for normal operation of this chip. So here's one more example. All right, again, if you notice this row here, these inputs are all don't cares when this is low, and they're, they're not don't cares when this is high. So the shift load input should be tied high for normal operation. So to summarize, when you're using a device for the first time, there may be extra inputs that you're not sure how to use. Look for rows with lots of X's as that are don't cares on the inputs. Find the column that has a different value than normal in that row with all of the don't cares. Set the associated pin to the value it has for the rest of the truth table. And again, sometimes there may be more than one input like this, as in the example with G1 and G2.